TT Productions, bringing adventures to audio. I don't get it. Shouldn't be getting hotter the further in we go. I'm bloody freezing. You're such a wire demon, I swear. You've got your self-eating thermals on. What more can you need? I don't know, Raina. Maybe a fire while I sit drinking boiled Tonka juice. Tonka juice? Wow, spot the boy from the inner worlds. You must hate having the love out here slumming up with us outer rim folks. I think you'll find. I was called for by the professor personally. Thank you very much. Newsflash, rich boy. We were all contacted personally. Between you and me, though, I think he didn't want to work with anyone that had worked with. Well, you know who. Oh, so it's true. He's actually related to her. Grandson, I heard. Amazing. Because you just imagine being the grandson of the <laughs> Praise the goddess, we're in. We are so going to get our names in the intergalactic journals for this. What? What? You hissed at me. No, I didn't. <gasps> Damien, what the hell did you do to you? The experiments will continue. Okay, so if we take this entrance here, we should be able to find a way that would lead us not only to the center of the pyramid, but also to the top. There's a strange signal coming from that pyramidion, and I want to know what it is. Professor, what about the carvings on the edges? Well, judging by the formation in the rock, I'd say they're incredibly old. Which is why I want you, Aaron, working day and night on deciphering them. Perhaps they can explain why the locals named this the Pyramid of the Forgotten Lakes. Are we completely sure there's no form of water around here, Professor? <sighs> Miss Lees, there hasn't been any form of water in this area for thousands of years, perhaps even millions. The nearest civilization is 500 clicks west from here, and if there was any water nearby, or pretty much anything, I'm highly sure we'd be surrounded by tourists. Come on, people! You were hired because of your skill and recommendations in these areas. So use those brilliant minds of yours and just... I just know that together we can solve this mystery. Oh, for goodness sake! Would it kill the university to send me some decent equipment for once? Great. I've lost where I was. Oh, never mind. Everyone, let's just get out there and find out exactly what makes the 487th wonder of the universe just that. A wonder. 487? Oh, was 486 already solved? Excuse me? Well, that's never going to work. Look at the way the tunnel zigzag deadless would be appalled. You know, Sorry, I um, when... who exactly are you? I know everyone I've recruited for this expedition, and you're not one of them. Hologram program deactivated. Uh, y yes, yes. Al allow me to grab my credentials. Perhaps this will explain everything. Dr. John Smith. Languages. Lunar University. Never heard of you. Yes, well, the university just wanted me to pop over and see how things were getting along. Oh, typical Luna. Interfering where they aren't wanted. Well then, Dr. Smith, I suggest... Uh, uh, not Dr. Smith, just Doctor, if you will. Okay. Doctor. I suggest putting those skills to some use, and going over the work with Aaron Professor there and decrypting the symbols found on the edge of the pyramid. Professor Summerfield. Yes, Skylar. 
There's something here we think you might want to see. Right. I'm on my way. And how many times must I tell you it's Professor or Ben? Never Summerfield. Is the seat taken? Doctor, didn't I just ask you to work on those symbols? <laughs> yes, yes you did, but you're heading to the pyramid, aren't you? I think it would be far more helpful to me if I were to see them up close, wouldn't you agree? I suppose, if that's what you really want. But if anything happens to you, though, don't expect my insurance to cover it. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> so, Summerfield. Any relation? Oh, here we go. Yes, Bernice Summerfield is my grandmother. No, she didn't help me to get to where I am. I did that all by myself, thank you. Grandmother? Ah, so that must make you Peter and Antonio's son. You know my dad's. Not personally, no, but well, you know how things are at the university. Your grandmother was a bit of a legend. I worked with her on many expeditions. Scarlet, Heaven, even Earth. We were quite good friends by the end, I'd say. Worked with her? <laughs> No offence, Doctor, but you don't exactly look old enough to have worked there when she did. That'll be my 13-step skin routine. Keeps me looking, well, young. <sighs> she must be very proud of you going into archaeology as well as being named after her. Professor Ben Summerfield. Do your friends call you Benny? Listen, Doctor, if it's all the same to you, I'd rather we didn't talk about my grandmother. Also, when using my name, it's just Ben. Or Professor. Or it's definitely not Benny. My apologies, Professor. Right. It's better be good, Skylar. Oh, I think you're going to be very interested in this, Professor. Hello, I'm the Doctor. Here to decipher your alien carvings. Uh, right, okay. Um... Right over there, Doctor. Thank you. So, what have you found? Well, uh, we sent Damien and Raynar down the original tunnel to see if they could excavate anything further. For the goddess's sake, Skylar! You sent people down there without asking me it first! It was just a routine check, nothing more. They weren't even supposed to go that deep into the pyramid. Fine. We'll deal with this later. Where are they now, then? Did they find anything? Well, that's why I brought you down here. They haven't come back out. What do you mean? They haven't come back. We went down to retrieve them after no signal was coming through from their radios and we discovered a blockage. Great. So a possible cave-in as well. But again, Professor, that's not why I brought you down here. We found some, sir. We found water. Wait. You actually found some? Well, where is it? Oh, gone. By the time we returned to the surface and got a container for it, the sand inside the pyramid had already absorbed every drop. Right, that's okay. So, two objectives for us then. One, rescue our people from behind the blockage, and two, discover where the rest of that water is. These markings are truly fascinating, you know. Yes, I'm fully aware, Doctor, but right now I have two people trapped inside this thing, and that's my priority. Yes, although it, it is a very old type of Martian. I can't say I've seen some of these symbols in years. Y yes, yes, that's all very interesting, Doctor, but did you not hear me when I said that... Sorry. Did you just say old Martian? Judging by the littering, yes. That, or someone decided to throw spaghetti at the wall and hope it stuck. That's impossible. Martians don't live this far on the Outer Rim. We're at least four galaxies in the nearest setup. Are you telling me they built this pyramid? Well, it wouldn't be the first time pyramids and Mars have been connected, but if I had a hazard a guess, I'd say this was built by an ancient type of ice warrior race. Uh, we call them new Martians now? <laughs> yes, uh, I suppose nowadays they aren't quite as warrior-like as they used to be. No, this, the type that built this, though, they're the ones I've not seen for years. Look at the way the letters curve and move. This wasn't written by new Martian hands. It's the old Lego style. Like what? Oh, it's a Terran block building game for people ages 0 to 99. You see, you get the blocks Doctor, and... concentrate. Are you telling me that we're dealing with an ice warrior too? Oh. Oh, yes. We may just be... We discovered the blockage about ten clicks down, Professor Summerfield. Uh, sorry, Ben. I've packed you some rations and preserves in case the two of them are dehydrated or in need of sustenance. 
Thank you, Skylar. Now, I want you to keep... Right. I'll be ready to go. No, no, Doctor. You're not coming with me. This is my expedition, and it's my responsibility to get them out. Yes, but they might both be injured, and as strong as healthy as you are, Professor, I don't see you being able to carry both out. Plus, two heads are better than one, aren't they? Fine. Skylar, I want you to keep an eye on the radios. I'm turning on our trackers, so if any trouble arises, I'll call you. Well, there's something you don't see every day. It's the Pyramidian. It's spinning, almost like... like it's gearing up for something. I think it might be best to we head inside now. I've got a bad feeling. We may have trouble on our hands here. Then, sir... I think you had better take this. No, no guns! guns. But professor, you have no idea what Trust could... me, Skylar. Everything's gonna be fine. After all, I've got a doctor with me, don't I? Well then, doctor. Once more into the breach. So... Two more heat signatures have entered the pyramid. More experiments to be done. Please, you don't have to do this. We can help you. But you are helping me. Please, just let me go. I have a family, a wife and a child, please. Surely even you can understand that a child needs his parents. Children are just warriors, not yet bred for battle. After the council destroyed my experiments, my own mother was the first to ask for me to be sent off world. But I showed them. They didn't destroy everything. What is that? My own army of warriors. You're sick. Listen to me. There's a whole team of people out there that could help you if there's something wrong. I'm sure we could get a doctor for you. Sleep now, my subject. There is more work to be done. I must return to the chamber. That's twice now. Mm-hmm. Twice that you've just jumped in and said you're coming with me. And yet both times I've just said yes without a second thought. I was just one of those faces, you know, very trusting. Perhaps, yeah. But something about you, Doctor. Not sure what it is, but it's there. One mystery at a time, it been, uh, been. Speaking of which, just a couple of miles out from the blockade. Maybe you could explain to me the mystery of why your name seems to fill you with such uh, disdain. <laughs> you say that as if I hate it. Well, if you don't, you've got a funny way of showing it. Well, then you should be able to solve it, shouldn't you? You have friends with her, after all. Bernice, really? This is all because of your grandmother, but you're an archaeologist just like her. Show me that's the whole reason you took up the profession. Well, like I wasn't very good at anything else. Tried everything to get myself away from her legacy, and yet where did I end up? Working in archaeology for Lunar University. Never ago, it's, oh, you're Professor Summerfield's grandson. That must be so amazing. Sounds to me like there's a lot of frustration there. Frustration? Why would I be frustrated at someone who the whole universe seems to think is the greatest woman to have ever lived while I never even met her? Every time I walk into that university, a picture stands out before me. One every single student and teacher recognises, but for me... For me, she's a stranger, Doctor. Someone who spent most of their life out adventuring, disappearing and not giving a toss about her family. Not to mention not getting to know her only grandson. So I apologise, Doctor, but if she is your friend, to me, she's a black spot in my life. One that'll never be rubbed out. Then... I'm sorry. I'm sure she had good reason. Maybe she wanted to keep you safe. She sounds just like my dad. Always defending her like she could do no wrong. Ben, I know your grandmother very well, and I'm so sorry you feel this way, but I can promise you this. She loves you very much, and I'm sure one day you'll meet her and see the love and wonder she has for you. I just know it. (laughs) I wish I could say I believe that. But 
We're coming up the blockade. Let's see if we can shift it. It's freezing down here. Let's get closer to the tomb. Yes, well, nice worries need to be kept at absolute zero to maintain the bodies within the suit during death or... or hibernation. Hibernation? So some of these could still be alive? Possibly, yes. Don't worry, though. I have a history with calming down ice worries. I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. I hope you're right about that one. Well. Scanning. There appears to be a weak point here. I mean, that drill. Be careful, Ben. Would my grandmother be so careful? No. <laughs> I suppose she wouldn't be. And we're in! Look, there's a tunnel. Must be the one Damien and Rainer used to get out of the blockade happens. Yes, it must be. They certainly don't look like laser tool markings, but... Two doors. Which one did they take? Left. <laughs> or right. There's no way in there. Don't we? Any mini mini mo catch a car yet by the two. Left it is. <laughs> well done, Doctor. Master of Languages and Codebreaker. Jack of all trades, you. Oh, my dear boy. You have no idea. Ah, uh, stasis chambers. Some of the ice warriors must have been housed in here. There's no sign of Rainer and Damien, though. No, but look at this. <sighs> what is it? These chambers appear to be drained of any form of energy, almost like it's been... Like it's been transferred somewhere else. The other room? Possibly, but I wouldn't touch any of those stray wires, not unless you want to light up like a Christmas tree. No, it. Doctor, I think I found one still in this chamber. Oh, hello, Ice Warrior. I'm the Doctor. This is Ben. We're just admiring your lovely stasis chambers. Tell me, are there more of you here? Perhaps it's sleeping? No, no, I don't think so. Empty. Nothing but a show. You sure, Doctor? I think I can still see something inside. Ben, don't! Oh, that's disgusting! It's what they really look like. Well, almost. Looks to me like it's... Like it's been dried out. Look, look all the moisture's been completely removed. Sounds horrific. Not a good way to go, no. I suggest we try the other room now. This one has long since been deserted. Was that you? I thought that was you. It would appear we've woken up some sort of defense mechanism in the armor. <laughs> yeah, well, so what are we going to do? And the sonic won't even switch it off, Ben. I'm so sorry. Doctor, the stasis fluid on the floor, is it electrolyte? Yes, I, I should say so. Well then, Merry Christmas. <sighs> now, that was good. Well done, Professor. Thank you, Doctor. Now... About that other room. This is all inside the pyramid. This is incredible. Yes, it is, isn't it? Clearly someone's been working on things recently, though. Look, that, that beaker still has a flame under it. Not another empty suit, then? Not this time, no. What is it, though? Water? Or oh, some other form of clear liquid. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. I wasn't planning on it. But all this stuff... This isn't a usual ice warrior setup. Maybe they stumbled upon a strategic sector of them. Perhaps working on chemical bullfight. These markings seem to suggest that... But why would the ice warriors need to... Doctor, over here. It's Damien. Oh, my poor boy. He's dead, isn't he? I'm afraid so. Look at his mouth. It's cracked like he's been dried out from some sort of... Some form of dehydration, but his, his whole body... Hair, clothes, drenched completely. How, how in Russell's name is that possible? Look at his eyes. Completely white apart from the pupil. He looks like some form of zombie. Is someone there? Raina? Is that you? Ben? Oh, thank the goddess, Raina. You're still alive. What happened to you? Was it an ice warrior? Yeah, 
Let me, let me get you down. Man, that was horrible. It came out of nowhere. It killed Jamie and he. Yes, Raina, we know, but you're safe now. Behind you. What? Benny. Benny, is this you? Ben, Doctor. Oh, oh yes. Yes, sorry. <clears throat> That's the last of my book through Airbnb. Ah, you're awake. Ah, nice for you. And look at those hands. See, Ben, I told you, Lego. I don't think this is the time, Doctor. I suppose you're right. Now, you're a long way from home, um, uh... Strategist Gartrox. Ah, oh, Strategist Gartrox, lovely to meet you. I thought this all looked rather strategic. I'm the doctor, this is Ben. Now it appears to me you've just woken up, haven't you? The security system was broken. I was awoken from my chamber. That would have been Ben and his team. So sorry, but we can help now. Is it just you here or are there more? We've found an empty shell with the dead occupant in the other room. Don't suppose you know anything about that? I'll take that as a yes, shall I? Now, I've seen that body over there, but I'm willing to overlook that as something done out of fear. It's been years since you last saw another creature, and you must be very scared, but I can help. There's a ship just outside this pyramid, and I can take you... Silence, Doctor! You are my new test subjects. Sorry, did he just say test subjects? You will be my next wave of warriors. Apologies, I don't know if it's the stun shot or the fact I haven't any breakfast yet this early after waking up, but I don't think I fully grasp what you're saying. Then witness, Doctor, my new and improved experiment. Raina! Ben, I'm scared. Silence! They didn't trust me back on Mars. That is where my experiments began. Then they stole them from me. But now, everything will change. And I will start again. No! No! No, please no. don't! Please, no! <coughs> it's... it's water. What? So that's your big plan then? Cover people in water? Watch and see. <coughs> Doctor, what's happening to her? She looks just like Damien. What have you done to her? She is my warrior. Oh, well. In Scotland, ah, what a lynch. Look at her. She clocked him. It's like she understands what he's saying. No, no. But I think she'd know it's Martian. Why, Gotrox? Why do this? It's not exactly honourable by Ice Warrior standards. They never understood me. So I became a strategist, not a warrior. My experiments would help us win every battle. But it was all too much for them. My experiments with the old ways was looked down upon. They sent me away. Death for an ice warrior should be honorable. This was not. Seems to me like you're in a lot of pain there, strategist. The stasis chamber was damaged when the wall was broken through. Ah, and so were you. Let me guess, you need to take a nap every few hours just to keep yourself alive. So that's the plan then? Create more of these water zombies, take a red planet, and what? Proof to back home your experiments were right all along? Precisely, Doctor. But how? You're not exactly moving out of here anytime soon. Not without that stasis chamber. <sighs> A way will be devised using the pyramid. 
What do you mean? Goddess. And Pyramidian. Wood. The, the top of the pyramid. It, it was giving off a strange signal, almost metallic, but when we got closer, we realized it had holes in it. I assumed it was some ventilation or something. Whatever was inside, you know, but maybe. Maybe it was more of a sprinkler system. No, 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 no. There has to be more to it than that. The Pyramidian's too small, isn't it? You are correct, Doctor. The Pyramidian will spray my experiment into the sky. There it shall be taken up by the planet's atmosphere until it weeps. First comes the rain, and then the flood. No! Not again! Except your experiment isn't ready yet, is it? It will be, once I finish with you, Doctor. Doctor, I'm scared. Are we really going to become like that? What about all the people on the planet? Everything, everything's going to be fine, Ben. I'll, I'll get us out of here, don't you worry. After all, your grandmother never did. Oh. Take this, if I can just get this. Uh, got it. Catch. Ah, got it. Wait, didn't Dutrox take that off you when he knocked you out? If I've learned anything, it's that I should always carry a spear. Hopefully I'll keep remembering this. <laughs> Not with my track record. Now, when Gotrox is new, near the new beaker, I want you to use the sonic to explode it. Why can't you do it? Because I'm going to distract him. Ready? Does it have a me? Excuse me? Mr. Riceway, over here! What is it? Can you, can, can you come closer? This, this, this is really... Well, it's really quite important, and rather intimate, I'll, I'll be honest. You see, uh, my my grandma, what, what big eyes you have. Now, tell me, what exactly do you plan to do? Would you conquer this planet, eh? I shall continue to build my army on other worlds. Oh, so the rest of the galaxy is in danger too. Fascinating. Poisoning the water supplies with your own, I assume. That really is strategic. Genius, almost. I clap, but my hands are a little tight down at the moment. But perhaps my friend will do it for me instead. Your what? Put that down, child! Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Once you let my friend go. Put it down now! Oh, see, it looks to me like you're going to need more zombies to create more water, yeah? Well, with two dead, I'm going to assume you need this beaker. And as it's the only clear liquid still in the room, I say if I was to pour it on, say, the sand, your experiment would be over. So, if you want it back, I suggest freeing the doctor. Oh, he is good. Probably best to do what he says, Gertrux. <sighs> now, I'm going to set this down here, and we're going to walk out of here alive, okay? You heard the man. We walk out of here free. Get ready to run. My plan shall still go ahead. Looks like you take a nap, mate. Or better yet, have a drink. No! My precious experiment! Run! Are you sure that won't kill him? You know, turning into one of those zombies. He was dead. The moment your people damaged his stasis chamber, stasis poisoning, I've seen it before, I'm afraid. Horrible stuff, I'm more worried. But his lab, though, perhaps you should block this... block this whole pyramid off. One step ahead of you there. Set a couple of sonic charge mines in the machinery before grabbing the beaker. So we have around, ooh, uh, about four minutes till the place comes down around us? Then you really are a summer field. <laughs> Back away to the pyramid, it's gonna blow. Oh, you heard the professor! Get back! So that's it then. All gone. Tomb, pyramid. All that work that went to getting inside it. More of a prison ship, but yes, buried beneath the sand. I'm sorry it wasn't what you wanted to find. I have a hard time explaining this one to the university, especially how much money they put into it. 
Ben, you may not have found an incredible discovery inside, but you saved a planet full of people. And sometimes that's life's own reward. Your grandmother would be proud. You really know it, don't you? More than you could ever believe. Maybe I should track her down, then. Start building some bridges my way. She's nothing like you. I'm sure we can make it work. I hope you do. And what about you now, Doctor? What will you do? Oh, all of time and space is my playground, Ben. Still lots more to see. You could come with me if you want. I could always do with a summer field on board my ship. I have enough work to do here. But find someone, though. I see a loneliness in your eyes, like you're distracting yourself from something big. Seems to me like you might need someone to help you get through it. You really are your grandmother's grandson, Ben. She could always see her up through me, too. Doctor. We're friends now. Call me Benny. <laughs>